So hi, Micro Hunter here again, and another question from one of my uh, viewers or readers of the blog. By the way, if you have any questions, send them to me or write write comments. I appreciate questions because uh, most likely uh, other people will have similar questions. Um, would uh, would it be worth uh, buying a 16 times or a five times magnifying eyepiece? Um, so the eyepieces that um, microscopes usually come with uh, the standard magnification is 10 times. And now the question is is um, should um, the, should I buy a an eyepiece with a lower magnification so that the total magnification is then lower, or one with a higher magnification? Uh, some of the uh, issues why there could be an advantage of trying different eyepieces because it's not only, not only the magnification; different eyepieces have a different eye relief, so it means the distance between the the, the eyepiece and the eye can be different, or a different maybe field of view, and, and so there could could be other parameters so that um, yeah you might like more in the five times or sixteen times eyepiece besides the magnification alone okay um, so that is simply something that I also wanted to simply mention it's not only the magnification but there could be other factors as well um, now a little bit to my uh, to my opinion um, I personally um, do not have a five times or 16 times eyepiece here I only have a 10 times however I bought myself a 20 times objective they're not as common, okay? Because then I have a 200 times magnification. 10 times uh, 20 is 200. And the 200 times magnification is a really convenient magnification for observing some water life, okay? So it's like this that uh, with uh, a 400 times, it's already sometimes magnifying too much, okay? Um, and uh, especially the fast moving water life, uh, little crit critters, they're moving away too fast out of the field of view, so it's difficult to chase them around. And with a hundred times, sometimes um, it's still some of them are still a little bit too small. So it was would be some, somehow nice to have something in between. So I got myself a a, a ten times a, a tw sorry a twenty times magnifying objective. So twenty times ten is two hundred times. Now. Um, that's a, these are rare objectives. They're not so common. Um, now, if you have a 16 times eyepiece and you use a 16 times um, eyepiece with a 10 times objective, you're going 160, which is somehow already going into the range of, of where you want to go. Or if you use a 400 times, um, a 40 times, sorry, a 40 times objective with a five times um, uh, eyepiece, uh, then you have a magnification of 200 times, which is also in the range that I have. Okay, which I consider very convenient convenient for observing some water life uh, um, specimens. So I would, if, if you take this into consideration, I would say it, it's probably worth it. So that is uh, simply my take on the issue. Um, I, yeah, I'm more now, now to a slightly more rational <laughs> explanation in, in, my, in the case of my stereo microscope, okay? My stereo microscope has uh, 10 times magnifying eyepiece and I have a one, one five times magnifying eyepiece as well. Um, and I'm not using this one so much for observation, but I'm using this because um, the, 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 the lens is really good for uh, for for me putting a mobile phone in front of it because the the lens the diameter of the lens is a little bit larger so this gives me a little bit more flexibility in, in positioning the small uh, mobile phone camera objective uh, you see that's why i use the five times magnifying eyepiece for my stereo microscope so this is because it's easier to take pictures through the eyepiece okay it's simply something else to think about okay i think that's that that's simply some of my opinions i wish you all the best happy micro hunting Bye-bye.